Videos of young people sympathizing with Osama bin Laden have been circulating on social media, making Che Guevara extremely jealous that he's no longer the number one idealized deceased militant extremist. The trend started as bin Laden's eight-page letter to America began circulating the internet. Although most young Americans thought it was just another America-hating lesson written by one of their college professors. TikTok has since banned the videos on their platform, meaning the Chinese are actually doing more to prevent the spread of terror on social media than the U.S. has ever done. Argentina has elected a libertarian president. In response, libertarians on Twitter rushed to say, he's not a real libertarian, while leftists responded in tears, mourning the fate of the country's roads. Javier Malay's election proves that helmet hair is the biggest prerequisite for right-wingers to be elected world leaders in the modern era. The president-elect has expressed plans to slash many government programs, which the left has described as an existential threat to democracy, while conservatives have described the plans as good. Speaker Mike Johnson has announced that he will be making all 44,000 hours of video from January 6th available to the public on a streaming app called J6+. Plus. To most Americans, the footage of peaceful protesters walking calmly through a building will be boring. But to Adam Kinzinger, it means five years of content for him to cry himself to sleep over. Republicans are hopeful that the release of this video may exonerate some of the political prisoners who have been treated harshly by law enforcement over the past two years. Liz Cheney is hopeful that it will help law enforcement find more nonviolent grandmothers to hunt down and persecute. Snoop Dogg has announced that he's quitting smoking weed. It turns out all the time he's spent filming commercials with nerdy white people has rubbed off on him. Instead of rapping about smoking weed, Snoop is going to start rapping about eating rice pudding and raisin bran. Cardi B went viral calling out political leadership of New York City and the United States. She complained about New York drowning in rats and the United States funding two wars. She said she would not endorse anyone for president again. She, of course, endorsed Joe Biden in 2020. If only there had been some other candidate Cardi B could have endorsed to prevent this mess. I'm not saying Donald Trump gave us four perfect years of bliss and harmony, but he did give us three. It's sad that celebrities seem to think the only two options are the same party who's caused all of the problems for the past 50 years or nobody at all. Until they wake up to the reality that there are other options, it seems their only option is to wake up drowning in rats. I'm DK Abel. Please like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.